The CERA was developed as a response to needs that actuaries could fill. What's missing in industry that uh, CERAs can make a great contribution to is a combination of a high level of analytic ability and quantitative skills combined with the business acumen that comes from understanding uh, the entire range of activities in a business. I think what makes the CERA so unique and so special is really the quantitative focus around it. The exams that are created for that designation syllabus are rigorous. They have a lot of financial economics and risk management background to them. It's a lot more than just writing risks on a page. It's be able to take those risks and evaluate them and know that CERAs today that come through the SO SOA are going to be highly qualified, high potential type people that can help their company succeed. But we've learned over the years that there are many more risks that a company faces than just the financial risks. And if you're to manage them appropriately, you need someone who's got the big picture, who understands what the company's all about, understands all the risks and threats and opportunities that are represented by their activities. And so we want to help educate, train, and credential folks who can take that big picture view and help the entire enterprise succeed. I think the CERA designation gives an actuary a lot of potential opportunity for their career. Certainly qualifies them as a great risk analyst, a great evaluator of risk, a way to put solutions and risk management into place at a company. It makes you stand out, I think, as an expert in your field. All of our CERAs go through a professionalism course. We want to stress the fact that as part of the actuarial profession, CERAs are held to our code of conduct, our standards of practice, and that they need to understand what that means and ensure that they act accordingly in their professional lives. In the fall of 2012, we're launching a new exam and curriculum that's dedicated solely to those pursuing the CERA credential. It's our Enterprise Risk Management exam. It's got new course materials, new books that uh, reflect the current state of the art, a case study that's comprehensive, and uh, some challenging questions that we'll ask our candidates to answer. And in return, they get a credential that uh, verifies that they are that sort of person, the kind of person who can, who can do things that other credential holders can't do. So this is just, I think, a natural next step for Enterprise Risk Management, to be a place where actuaries uh, would help lead the charge. Mm -hmm.